Hey guys, welcome back to Gundam vs. Welcome back to the hard survival. I was about to say trial mode. That's not what we're doing. We're doing the survival hard mode. Okay, end and proceed. Whew. Desertly land? Don't know who we're fighting. Here we go. This music's pretty good. Oh, I got some tanks. Some tanks and some gun cannons. Why can't you play as a tank? That'd be cool. <laughs> you could just play as like a little tanky dude. Or um, like one of the mobile workers. Like that's what they should work on now. Now they got this as a base, they should let you play as like all the little, sh little shitty dudes. There should also be a story mode. If they do another Gundam Versus, they do a story mode. Gun in like a worker, in like a mobile suit worker or like a Zaku or some shit. You gotta dis distinct yourself and then you join a rebel faction or something and then that gives you access to a to a Gundam. Something like, something, some fucking stupid shit like that. Like I don't really care, you don't, your story doesn't have to be necessarily brilliant, it just has to be there. Have good fights, good, good modes, it'd be great. Cause like imagine right, so they, they do a Gundam thing right and then like Last stage is like a war or whatever, or they have like these war stages where you're fighting multiple dudes at once, and it's just like this. Outside of this area, there's like loads of fighting going on, like all over the place. There's just shit tons of like fights and stuff. Like imagine that, like you start off in one of those fucking mobile workers, and there's like as you're fighting, like fucking mobile suits are like swinging past you and shit, and you've got to like do your best to survive. That would be so fucking cool. Do such a cool story mode for a Gundam game. Like, holy fucking shit, like Armored Core, right? Not Armored Core. Um, what was it called? Front Mission Evolved, I think it was, on the PS3. That was not the best uh, mech game, right? But holy shit, if that had a fucking cool story. Because like the story like you got out of your mobile suit at one point and you had to like go on, like you were just a pilot with like a pistol and stuff, it was really fucking cool. It's, it's a the game wasn't like super good as it could have been but man if it fucking wasn't great like the idea wasn't fucking good they could easily do a Gundam game like that they could do a story Gundam game and there is a there is a mech game coming out uh, the beginning of next year I can't think of what it's called now uh, left left alone not left alone last alone I don't know I can't think of what it's called I did tweet about it a little while ago but the trailer looks um, uh, I can't fucking think of what it's called. Someone let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about, the mech game. Uh, but it looks like you're like hiding from mechs or something to begin with. Maybe you get to pilot a mech or something, but it looks fucking cool. If that's like a pilotable mech game, then fuck yeah, we're gonna play that. Because I fucking love mech games. I'd really love like an actual story mode to do with... Um, The Gundam, because that's just like I just love that Gundam source material. It's so good, especially when they do like when they integrate the machines with the uh, pilots as well, like the um, like the like like not the not the Trans Am per se. Um, the Trans Am is a good one, but uh, there's the there's the uh, Avea then. Yeah, but fuck's sake, I can't think of Now I've been put on the spot. I've put my on the spot and now I can't think of what it's called. The um the Alea Vignanatum in the Barbatos is one of my favourites. It's super cool. Uh, it like it attaches it attaches to like the pilot's like spinal cord and like feeds their them information and like like he gets like a his brain gets fucked up a little bit. We're gonna refill that because we need that shit and we're not got much more you know we're just gonna save that we're just gonna save it really really interesting and i like that one uh and i like like the unicorn that uses like the positive emotions or the negative emotions to like fuel it's like power and like that sort of shit i love that thing i fucking that's cool uh it's really cool because it's like actual like risks to the pilots and shit it's interesting i like it a lot but um, so I would like 
that to be in like the story, in like a, a story mode for a Gundam anyway, and it'd be really cool. But um, it's like Armored Core, I don't have Armored Core, because Armored Core games are pretty fucking cool. Like I said, it wasn't like the best uh, mech controlling, it wasn't the best, um, it wasn't the best story overall. But it's, it was like, it was interesting and clever, I liked the way that they actually did it, with like having a mobile suit and then having the, um, having the, uh, like, part of your as a pilot, I really liked that, that was really cool. But, um, I didn't, the thing is, I didn't like the mechs in Front Mission, because in Front Mission, the mechs are all like, um, they're very western, they're very like, big and beefy, they're like, they're like massive walking tanks, you know, which is not like the best. Especially since I very much prefer um, the uh, Eastern sort of mobile suits, like like Gundam um, and like you know, like Armored Core, where you can make them like sleek and fast and that sort of shit, and that's what interests me. But uh, the the mere idea of it was interesting. So I'm looking for this one. I'm looking forward to this mech game. I can't think of what it's called. It's doing my head in. Uh, let's Google it real quick. Mech game next year. No, I don't. I didn't say mech game. Mech. I like how accept the C on my data pad and it come up as um. Oh shit! I can't find it. Uh, I hit come up with a dating sim because <laughs> it thought I said meth games next year. <laughs> like fuck's sake! Not all dating sims are meh. Is that is that uh, the one where you date the pigeons? Right? I'm told that's pretty good. Uh, Hot to full boyfriend. I'm not I'm not super into uh, the old dating sim games, although I do love Stardew Valley. Out. I like dating sim games where they're like not the whole game. That that's that's the thing. I like dating and marriage in my games, but not the main objective of the game. Uh, what was that game I played? This is a weird conversation for a middle of a Gundam series. I played a game with my partner, um, and that was like a visual novel dating simulator thing. Um, is it Amnesia or something? Amnesia? I think it was... <laughs> it's called Amnesia, so ironically I can't remember what it's called. Uh, no, I think it was called Amnesia or something, and uh, it, got, it got kind of fucked up, if I'm honest. Like, jeez, it got, it got real fucked up. Oh no! Oh, I was trying to get in and do our special then. Not have enough time. That, that whip is good because it like... It allows you to get a hit on the ground as well. It's super nice. Uh, but anyway, so a lot of those dating sims get really fucked up and like really, really dark. It's, which is kind of weird. Anyway, that was a weird conversation for a Gundam game, wasn't it? <laughs> we were talking about fucking robots. <laughs> Max, and then it went into fucking dating simulators somehow. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because I googled it. That's right. Fucking Google. You fucked it, Google. I can't believe it. Can't believe you didn't accept my C. You accepted my meh. All right, let's uh, let's just get rid of this Hiki Shiki with our special. Oh no, he was C. That's fucking. He was invulnerable for way longer than what he should have been. That's annoying. Oh, the Torgis. That's a cool mobile suit. Oh, it's the Torgis too. Sorry. I'm sorry, I have betrayed you. Oh, shit. See, we got 100 cape again, but we've not got a cape. How do I put cape on? Can I put it on? How do? Oh, shit, look at that. Oh, it immediately blew. <laughs> I immediately got blasted off us. 
I'm so rubbish. <laughs> God, I'm fucking bad at video games. Gotcha. Did I kill my own dude as well? No, I didn't kill him. He's fine. I'm like damaged him a little bit though. Sorry about that, Shah. All right, boss wave, Shah. It's Amaro. It's Amaro and and younger Shah. They're teaming up to take on the much fiercer, fiercer group of people, which is turns out to be my pirate man. And uh, and you from the future, which is not great. They're, they're pretty terrified. Oh shit, I've died. <laughs> it's fine. Keep going, future Shah. You got this, mud. I believe. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Oh no, why did I boost into that? Uh, that was huge! Oh, I'm gonna have to fucking reuse my, my juice, aren't I? I'm not, I don't like this. This is not good at all. Oh no! Why are they just like immediately all in fucking Trans Am mode? Whatever it's called. Blazing mode. I don't appreciate them being constant blazing mode. It's kind of bullshit, if I'm honest. Oh my fucking god! He's annihilating us. Let's not. Let's try and not get close to him. Even though he keeps blowing everyone up. Oh, you think he killed himself? I, I'll accept that. Oh fuck, that's really expensive. But we can't. We won't live the next five waves. We have to buy it. I'm gonna save those points for the next. For the next fucking five ways that I'm gonna have to spend on here, I guess. Oh my. This is getting bad, Shah. We need to we need to become better pilots. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, oh this is not good. This is not a. Uh, this is not impressive from any standpoint. Come on, dude. Fuck my cape up. My cape could have also been missing for ages. Oh Jesus, he's all over me. This game has got an issue with fucking difficulty spikes. It just loves them. It's like, okay, we're just gonna lead him into a false sense of security and then just and make it fucking impossible. Oh fuck, you're kidding me. It's fine. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. I got this. I'm good. I'm fine. Oh, I was gonna slice him in the back, but it didn't quite work out. Wave 37. All right, Shah. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not in the greatest of conditions, all right? I was going to take out this fucking plane with legs, apparently, and then I'm going to get shot in the back and instantly die. Uh, didn't kill him either, so that's nice. Uh, however, if you breathe on him too hard, he will just break into pieces. What the fuck? He's just... Oh, okay, there you go. He transformed, finally. Oh, come on, what are you made of? <laughs> it's like, it's like facing Jesus. It's, <laughs> it's like Jesus is piloting a mobile suit, okay? It's, it's ridiculous. He's too good. They're just like, they know when things are being shot at them from behind. Yeah, you know, that, they weren't from behind, but um, you get what my meaning is. Like, sometimes they're just so fucking good at dodging shit. Like, when that one time when I accidentally did that and dodged a beam. Like, they're doing that shit on a constant basis. <sighs> I can't believe I did that. Alright, I'm going straight for you. Well, I was... Oh, I fucked it up. Right, there we go. Oh, jeez, alright. I wish there was a way to um, 
become stronger as well. Like, you, 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 you build your armor up a bit more. I wish that was a, a situation that you, we could utilize. But it doesn't appear to be. Like, if you could heal mid-fight, I guess that would make it a lot easier, though, wouldn't it? It would make it probably... It's a fighting game which would make it unintended. So, alright, no, I take that back. I don't want that as a mechanic. Thirty-nine. One more wave, Shell. One more wave. And rebuild our thing. Possibly. And uh hopefully go on the home stretch. It'll be fine. Well, well there goes my cape. Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna use my special to try and get it and then I'm gonna boost in and then no that's not what what the fuck? I was like mid combo and it just stopped what it was doing. What did I do what did I do to make it do that, I wonder? I would like to know. I would really hate to lose because of me doing something silly. I don't I don't feel like that was the game. I feel like I definitely did something that I didn't mean to do. Alright, wave 40, we're on it. We're on the last wave. Well, the last wave before we can repair. Two psycho frames. <laughs> okay! <laughs> that ain't good. Oh, jeez. That really isn't good. It's fine. I'm gonna try and get into it. I'm gonna use Death Dive to try and hit it, and I'm just gonna try and mash into it as much as I can. Never mind, I have been exploded. Please. Ja. I really want that extra life to be for me. <laughs> one is not too big of a deal, right? Because you can, you can kind of predict one of them and like kind of sort one of them out. But when you've got both of them like this, this is a, this is oh ridiculous. Oh jeez, we had to do this in the um, boss as well, right? We had to do this in the the boss rush, which we also did. We only got to floor 12, uh, wave 12 even, because it's really difficult. Oh, shit. The opening door. I don't know what that means. Turns out, we weren't good enough. It took us half an hour. Everything's going the problem. The uh, problem was that I, I suck. That's pretty much the problem. <laughs> I'm not very good at fighting games. Oh well. There we go. We got to we got to wave 39, which I feel is I feel is admirable. A uh, massive difficulty spike, which is this game suffers from a lot. The game's difficulty spikes is like, it's either really it's either too easy, doable, or like just turn it up to 11 you know just like crazy difficult at least that's how I, I feel about it holy shit okay well we got to wave 39 that's the best as we can do from that one uh wave 12 we got on that one we did do normal and easy survival that's probably the easiest but that makes sense uh, i found some mobile suits that i i found a lot of mobile suits that i actually do desperately like uh, that are pretty Pretty cool. Uh, do we get EXP for fighting on these? We did. It's level ten. Look, we got a crossbow and thing. Oh, the man who discarded his name. Wow, that's fucking badass. Well, that's very cool. Uh, question mark tile. Don't know what that one is. We can go to my favorite mobile suits. Favorite ones. Uh, out of the ones that I've played, because I've not played all of them, because we can't actually go to my favorite ones. Turns out, out of the ones that I've played, because but I there's so many. 
There's so many. I mean, look at them all. There's This has to be the biggest roster of any fighting game, right? And they all feel different. Everyone that I've played so far feels different, which is fantastic. I mean, you could argue, but <laughs> but trust me, they do feel different. Like, it's really it's a really cool game. I'm glad that Gundam games are becoming more of a thing. I'm glad that uh, we got it in the West for a change because that's never really a thing. Gundam games are generally prim primarily Japan, and like the Gundam Builder games, they never leave Japan, which are they're very good. Uh, I have what the very first one that was on PS4 or PS3 even, and that was very fun, very good to do. Alas. The uh, they're all in Japanese, so I didn't get very far in it because it's literally walls of text that's all in kanji, and I have no idea what the fuck any of it means. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. But uh, if one came out in English, I'd buy that in a heartbeat because they are pretty damn good, the Gundam Builders. And you know, uh, I'll continue to support Gundam as best I can. You know, I buy the Gumplers, buy the these games. You know, I. And hopefully we'll see more. Like I like I said, I want to see a story mode game, like a, like a actual story mode game with like a actual story arc and a proper thing. Like that would be really fucking cool. Uh, I want to see, like fuck it, I want to see like an RPG. Like what if they do like a turn-based RPG with Gundams? That'd be fucking sweet. Do that as well. Like do weird shit because why not? All right. Uh, I love Gundam in overall anyway, so whatever you do, I'll do my best to try and uh, to try and support it at the very least. Uh, this is a great game. Uh, I may come back. I may come back once I've had a bunch of practice, and I may try and beat Route Seven again because uh, I, I kind of really do want to beat that. So I will do my best. I feel like I've got significantly good. Uh, significantly good enough to beat it or if you guys want to see uh, me try and beat it again uh, possibly with a different mobile suit you let me know and maybe we can do that uh, but for now I feel like we're done which is a shame because I want to play more which I, I am going to be playing more but I mean uh, it's a shame there's not like a super massive chunk of uh, solo play content most of this game is online which is not which I'm not into like at all uh, I've only had those I've only played four games online and quite frankly I just don't care for it I want to play single player content with it and I can't do that because there's not enough of it there uh, would I would I recommend this game for fans that are not fans of Gundam no I don't as I could strip as a fighting game I don't think it it has enough for fighting games. But then again, fighting games generally are kind of bare bones. Um, the new Marvel vs. Capcom doesn't look terrific. It looks very basic. Street Fighter was very basic when it come when it came out, wasn't it? Uh, so perhaps so perhaps it is. Perhaps it is enough for general fighting people to enjoy. But uh, and I, I feel if you're not a Gundam fan, you're not going to have as good of a time who is a massive Gundam fan with it but uh, it, regardless it is good it's definitely a fun game to play at least I find it a fun game to play but I'm a massive Gundam fan so you know what do you do uh, add-ons are too expensive quite frankly add-ons I'm not gonna click on it but they're like they're like 399 per character and the characters don't and don't really look super interesting so it's kind of like it's like eh, four quid a go mm, not much uh, plus they were there from day one as well, which I find a little bit suspect, but that's how I feel about that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you want to see more. Let me know if you want to see me uh, fail and attempt again, and maybe I can come back and do try some more stuff after I've had a bit of practice. Uh, Sonic Mania is going to be coming up, uh, if not has already started. Um, Final Fantasy XIV started probably ended maybe by the time you see this who knows maybe it's going up at the same time i don't 
I've I've been working quite hard and I've got a whole bunch of stuff recorded and a whole bunch of stuff in constant recording. So I'm like I'm uh, a little bit out of the loop at the moment on my scheduling. I not I still need to schedule it all and so I know what's going up when. But should be all going up and Fire Emblem Warriors should hopefully be around the corner if we've not been if Nintendo hasn't uh, been big old meanies. But I'm pretty sure it should be okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.